And a very good morning to you. It is Wednesday morning, the 23rd of February, the year 2022. And this is your friend Angus Bucken with a thought for the day. If we go to the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 13, and I'm reading from verse 54. When he had come to his own country, he taught them in their synagogue so that they were astonished and said, where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is this not the carpenter's son? And then we look at Psalm 81 verse 10. The Lord says, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. Spending time in the presence of God. The Holy Spirit is our teacher and the Bible is our compass. You see, spending time studying without the Holy Spirit makes us mere history teachers. If you haven't met the man from Galilee, that's all you become, memorizing scripture. And I love doing that, by the way. And the older I get, the harder it is. (laughs) But memorizing scripture without knowing the author of the book has no reward. In fact, you could even teach a parrot to do that. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6. The letter killeth, but the Spirit gives life. Do you know that not one of the disciples was a Bible teacher, a priest, or even a scribe? Peter, James, and John, what did they do for a living? They were fishermen. Matthew, what was he? A tax collector. Paul, who wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. He was a tent maker. He was a tradesman. And Jesus himself was a carpenter. We must not ever say that it is a waste of time to study. Never. I would have loved to have gone to Bible college. You know, I didn't have much of an education. I left school very early and I wanted to be a preacher. And the minister who loved me said, you've got to go to university and study for seven years. And I gave up. I should never have done that. It wasn't the minister's fault. I should have just pressed on with the vision and the passion I had to tell people about Jesus. You know, I I love sitting down and listening to anointed teachers of the word and men of God. Don't get me wrong, but time is short. There might be a young man today or a young girl who would love to tell people about Jesus, but feels that maybe they've lost the opportunity. Never, never. There's no time like the present. Colossians 1.27. It's Christ in you that is the hope of glory. Go out today and just tell people about Jesus. You might be a farmer. You might be a shopkeeper. You might be a doctor, a nurse. Just tell people what Jesus means to you. And that is what God wants us to do. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Jesus bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.